In this problem, we're asked to calculate the total current as measured by the amp clamp on this line. The circuit consists of several parts. We have a 240 volt source. This is a motor. This is another motor with a higher horsepower. And over here is a power factor correction capacitor. There's a couple of ways we could solve this problem. We could calculate the current in each branch and then state that the total current is equal to the sum of the individual currents. The other method is to calculate the total impedance and then use that to calculate the current. We'll explore both methods in this video. We're going to start by looking at the total impedance method first. If you haven't already done so, there's two facts I want you to commit to memory regarding series and parallel circuits. In a series circuit, the total impedance is equal to the sum of the individual impedances. Now contrast that with a parallel circuit where the total admittance is equal to the sum of the individual admittances. We also know that impedance is the reciprocal of admittance, and admittance is the reciprocal of impedance. These facts will make our calculations much easier. For example, if we look at this part here, the first branch is a series circuit. It consists of a resistor in series with an inductor. Likewise, the second branch is a series circuit we would add the individual impedances. So for the second branch, the impedance is 10 plus J5. We could put that together and call this Z1, call this Z2, and this Z3. At this point, we have a parallel circuit. So if we go down to our second fact, we know that if we take the admittances of each of these, we can add the admittances together, and once we have the total admittance, we can take the inverse of that to get the total impedance. Let's see how it works out using Scilab. Impedance 1, impedance 2, impedance 3. Now we find the admittance for each impedance. Now the total admittance is equal to the sum of the admittances. And finally, the total impedance is equal to the inverse of the admittance. The total current is then the source voltage divided by the total impedance. And I have a helper function that allows us to view current. And here we see the most important number. So the RMS value of that particular phaser is 28.8 amps. You could also just say the absolute value of the total current. Again, about 29 amps. I did promise you another way to solve the circuit, and that is to calculate the individual branch currents. So we could say that the current for motor 1 is equal to the source divided by the impedance for that particular branch. We could do the same for the other branches as well. And then we could say that the total current is equal to the sum of the currents. And we'll take the absolute value, and there we are at 29 amps again. If you'd like to use these Scilab functions, please see the link in the comments below. Also, if you have any electromechanical problems that you'd like to see worked out, please leave a shout in the comments.